first shipment of grain to leave Ukraine under a wartime deal heading to Lebanon to help ease a global food crisis. That ship carrying Ukrainian corn passing inspection in Turkey. And right now, Ukrainian officials say more than a dozen other vessels loaded with grain are waiting for permission to leave Ukraine. This comes as the U.S. moves to impose new sanctions on Vladimir Putin and people close to him, including his purported girlfriend. For more, ABC News' Patrick Rebel is on the ground in Kyiv, joins us now with the latest. So, Patrick, after clearing an inspection in Turkey, the Turkish Defense Ministry says that first ship carrying Ukrainian corn is moving on to Lebanon. When is that ship expected to arrive, and when could we actually see more ships leave Ukraine where you are? Hi, Kira. Yeah, that ship has now passed through Istanbul and is now headed on to Lebanon. We believe it'll arrive in four to five days. It took about two days to leave from Odessa. And it is a big, it's a big step because it's the first key step in you know, fulfilling this deal, this UN brokered deal. It's the first ship that has left Odessa through that deal. And the hope is now that the ships that are still in Odessa, which we believe there are around 16 of them, will now be able to start following in the coming days. We hope that that could even be as early as this week and that they will start moving. I mean, the next big test will be to see if ships can also go into Odessa. A Ukrainian MP told us that that could also happen as early as this weekend. And that will show whether this can become routine or not. So can you tell us why the ship is traveling uh, to Lebanon and how will that help ease this global food crisis that we've been talking about for, for months now? Yeah, so this ship has been trapped in the port of Odessa for five months since the start of the war, along with other ships that are carrying millions of tons of grain, of corn, of other food products. And, you know, on the one hand, this, of course, is extremely positive. It's good news for Ukraine's farmers. It's good news for the world because of this food shortage. But at the same time, we're hearing from experts that ultimately this is going to have a very limited effect on resolving that food crisis because, really, this is a pre-existing crisis that was being fueled both by climate change, by disruption from the pandemic, and also just by inflation. And basically, Russia's war is continuing. And that is continuing to mean fuel prices are very high, for example. And so food prices continue to be extremely high. And unfortunately, while this is very positive, this is going to have uh, this is not a magic bullet this is not going to have a profound effect on this crisis it's very much not resolved so a new round of u.s sanctions now are targeting russian elites including uh, this woman purported to be vladimir putin's longtime girlfriend what do we know about her and what the u.s hopes to achieve by actually targeting her patrick yeah, the U.S. has sanctioned Delina Kobayeva, who was a former uh, Olympic gymnast. And it's been believed that she's been Vladimir's, uh, Vladimir Putin's girlfriend for a long time now, for many years, really. And U.S. officials say that she has, has given birth to three children for Vladimir Putin. And we know that she's the head of a pro-Kremlin media empire. And I think the reason the U.S. has gone after her now is that this is a, an attempt to try and just further increase the pressure and try and, you know, go after the inner circle of Vladimir Putin. Interestingly, they initially held off on it because I think they felt it was overly provocative but clearly they think it's important to signal they're ready to go further and I think ultimately this is about making him a pariah I think this is trying to make him and his inner circle pariahs Patrick Rebel in Kiev Patrick thanks hi everyone George Stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching